Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, so some of you might know this, but I previously had another booktube channel called She, Re called she Reads, which I had mentioned on here a few times before in the past. Um, and basically what had happened with that channel was that I was unable to connect it to my main channel, which is monetized. Um, and so <laughs> I didn't want to open up two different AdSense accounts. First of all, that's not allowed. <laughs> and I wasn't able to get them linked. So I started this new channel, but there's, I mean, I had been doing that channel for a couple of years and there's quite a few videos on there that I really love and that I worked really hard on. So it kind of makes me sad to think that nobody's going to watch those videos or that um, it's just not on my channel anymore. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to start uploading maybe once a week one of my old videos. Um, one that I particularly liked and that I think you guys will like. So I kind of wanted to start a new series doing that. So, <laughs> so just kind of an introduction to that um, where I'm just going to be uploading some videos from my other channel. So there are of course booktube videos. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to play that video and I hope you guys really like it. Keep in mind that this is when I very first started <laughs> off on YouTube. So I might not be as well spoken. I might seem more nervous. I probably am gonna look different because it was about four years ago <laughs> that I started my channel over there. Um, but I just definitely wanted those videos to still be on my channel in some way, shape or form. So. I'm going to upload them here and I really hope that you guys enjoy them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is She Reads and today's video is going to be top 10 bookish facts about me. So fact number one, my favorite genre of all times to read, to watch movies, everything is horror. But my favorite book is actually not a horror novel. My favorite book of all time is this one, uh, The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. And I am absolutely obsessed with this book. I have read it so many times and it's just one of those stories that really makes you think about life in general and it has really shaped who I am as a person and how I live my life day to day. I highly recommend picking up a copy of this. Don't even, don't even borrow it from somebody, just go and pick it up because I promise you, you will love it and it will absolutely change the way you think about the world. Fact number two about me is that when I was young, I used to absolutely love participating in summer readathons hosted by my local library when I was probably, oh, I don't know, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, around there. Um, and the books that I absolutely loved to read during those readathons were Babysitter's Little Sister. I'm not sure if you guys ever remember the Babysitter's Club, but I never really read those. I read the spin-off series called Babysitter's Little Sister, and it was about um, the younger sister of one of the babysitters from the Babysitter's Club, and her name was Karen, but they called her Karen Tutu because her parents were divorced, and so she had two families and two sets of everything, which I really related to because I also was a child from divorce, so I also had two of everything, and I really, really loved just relating to her, how she had the two sets of families, and it was just so much fun. I used to just binge read those books during the summer. Fact number three about me is that I actually started writing novels when I was about 12 or 13. So I have a whole bunch of unfinished though, <laughs> unfinished novels from when I was young. And in fact, the only novel that's going to be finished so far that I have written is the one that I'm currently working on now. But just goes to show you how much I love reading and how much I love writing. And I've just always been so into that. Fact number four is that the only author that I buy absolutely everything from without question is Mitch Albom. Um, he is, like I said earlier, he's the author of my favorite novel, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, and all of his works are absolutely amazing. They're all very thought-provoking. They really make you think about the world and how you live in it and how you interact with people and lessons that you learn. They're just absolutely amazing, and I recommend all of his works. He is the only author that I buy. As soon as I find out that he has a new works coming out, I pre-order it without question. And um, I believe coming out in October, he's going to be having a sequel to The Five People You Meet in Heaven, which I've already pre-ordered, and I absolutely cannot wait for that to come out. I just, I know exactly what I'm doing that day as soon as it comes in the mail. <gasps> Fact number five is that I only have one storybook left from when I was a child, and that is this one. 
it's How Do I Love You? And I have no idea where all my other storybooks went from when I was a kid. I have no idea if my mom got rid of them or what, but they're all gone and I only have this one. And it even has like some writing in there from when I was a kid and I just absolutely love reading this to my son now. Number six is my favorite scary novel of all time, The Witching Hour by Anne Rice. And I absolutely adore this book. It is amazing. This is the first in a three-part series and to be honest with you, I didn't really care for the other two books. It almost kind of felt like, I mean, the second book was okay, but the third was way off. And I, I almost kind of think that maybe she didn't really have an end game in mind when she started writing this, because from this first book to the last one, it just goes in a completely different direction that you would never expect. And I just did not like it. From this book, I just thought she could have done so many amazing things with it. I thought that she could have gone in so many different directions and really had an amazing ending, but I just didn't get that with the last two books. So I have reread this one a few times and it's absolutely, it's just haunting, it's eerie. It's not the type of book that has just a bunch of like scary events happening and you're just going to be sitting there terrified. It's more, it's more that it's really, really eerie. And I just absolutely love it. And if you're looking for something to kind of give you a chill, definitely pick it up, but I wouldn't bother with the other two. To be honest with you, I think this one could just be a standalone even. Number seven is about these books. Um, I started liking scary novels from a very young age. I started reading these when I was in about fourth grade. And this is just kind of an introduction to, for kids um, into scary novels. I look back on them now and of course they're just so cute. But this one, um, Gargoyles Don't Drive School Buses and Angels Don't Know Karate. I, again, I used to have like pretty much the whole series. I had a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure where they've all gone. But um, they're so cute, and there was one about vampires, one about ghosts, and just all these different things that these kids, this group of friends goes through and in their community, and it's just so cute. Number eight is that I'm not typically a huge fan of series. I have a really hard time trying to keep myself focused on one storyline for too, too long. So it's very rare that I will actually get into a series and stay into it. And most of the time when I do, they're series that are maybe a little bit older and all the books are already out so I could just read one from the other to the other because I'm not the type of person that really retains a lot of what goes on from one book to the other. So if I read a book and then I have to wait a year for the next one to come out, I'm probably not going to remember, remember enough about what happened in that first one to want to pick up the second one. So it really has to be a really good storyline, and like I said, most times it has to be books that are already out, otherwise I won't really bother with them. Exceptions, of course, like the Harry Potter series. Pfft, yeah, that was probably the only one that I would wait in between books for, and they were so amazing. But um, I just finished The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, and absolutely loved those, but once again, I read them way later, and all the books were already out, so that might also have had something to do with it have such a hard time trying to stay focused on one thing and I'm typically just ready to move on to the next after one book so number nine I fell in love with reading by watching my mom read as a child and that's what I hope happens with my son too because I have such fond memories of her sitting on the couch after she gets off work and she's just reading she's devouring novels and it made me want to read as a kid and of course she would also read to me bedtime stories and stuff like that as a child. So she really shaped my love of reading from a very young age and I'm hoping to do the same with my son. Number 10 is something that a lot of you might not even believe, but I have never, ever, ever listened to an audiobook in my life. <laughs> And that's something that now that I'm starting my booktube channel, I kind of think that I'm going to try try out and see if I actually like it. It's not that I have anything against them. I just really love sitting down and reading physical pages. So I've just never had the opportunity or a reason to pick up an audiobook. But now that I want to start reading more and more for my channel, especially because I live in a smaller town that's about an hour away from our next major city. So if I ever want to run into town, like do a big grocery shop or something like that, I have that hour drive. And I typically make it usually once a week, sometimes twice a week. So that's quite a bit of reading that I could be doing on that time. So I probably will pick them up and see if I like them. Well, guys, that is the 10 bookish facts about me. What do you guys think? Do you share any of those weird little facts? Like, have you done any of that stuff? Any of that, what I said, relate to you? Let me know in the comments below.
Well, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my video uh, from my old booktube channel. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this idea, if you like seeing some of the older videos that I used to do on my other booktube channel. Um, I hope you guys really like them because I would really like to put a few more on here. So anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!